Hello everyone, welcome to Indian Debating League 3.0 and thank you so much for participating in this tournament and showing maximum amount of enthusiasm. We are really glad to have all of you. Indian Debating League is the largest debating organization which has done more than 500 tournaments in 36 states and we are trying to expand our reach to international universities as well. Before I go on, I want you to tell me why do you like debating? I'll take like multiple hands. Just raise your hand. I will try to recognize most of you. Try to ensure that you do not get unmuted at all points of time. This actually disturbs the decorum of the session. Yes, um, I will take Ayush. Uh, first of all, good evening, ma'am. Actually, when uh, actually when we prepare from uh, for debate, uh, the main topic which is we get knowledge about the topic. That's the main point. We do research about it and then gain the knowledge. That's amazing. Uh, you can stay muted now. Uh, um, I'll take Koshik. Uh, yes, ma'am. Debates often tend to be fun. You can uh, also get to know uh, different uh, viewpoints of other people to look at certain topics. Um, that's why I like debating. That's amazing, Kaushik. Um, I'll take Soha. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, good evening, ma'am. Uh, my name is Om Sharma. And ma'am, I like debating, ma'am, because, ma'am, it increases my stage confidence, ma'am. That's amazing, Soham. Rest all of you, please lower your hands now. If I Thank haven't you. recognized you right now, I will recognize you later. I have so many questions to ask you and keep you engaging. Great. A lot of you really told me that, that, that you're really motivating. Stay muted at all points of time. Yeah. Great. You really like debating because A, it increases confidence. Second, you get knowledgeable because you get to know multiple topics, things like science, monuments, history, how to deal with technology, and so many things that most of the textbooks in your schools don't give you. So debating is a platform where you get to engage with so many people, where you get to engage with so many individuals on a regular basis. Ensure that you meet muted at all points of time. Yeah. You have somebody muted right now. Now, yes, stay muted, and it really yeah. helps me to communicate things better. Hello, just Hello. mute yourself. Anybody who's just unmuted, mute yourself right now. Yes, that's amazing. Cool. So, Indian Debating League helps to give you all the things at all points of time and it encourages you to improve your public speaking skills on a very wide basis. And this is like the largest platform for any school debaters like you. And I'm really glad to have all of you in the very first place. So Indian Debating League is powered by Oakley, which is an amazing organization, but it's also powered by IIT Delhi's Debating Society. How many of you want to go to IIT Delhi? It's like a really prestigious university in India. And like, it's a dream that most of the Indian parents actually have. I see a lot of hands. Keep lower your, lowering your hand. I have a lot of questions to ask you as well later. Great. Nice. So it's A, Indian Debating League is one of the most prestigious public speaking and debating tournaments and one of the biggest platforms that anybody of you can have in the very first place. We have had more than 68,000 debaters from around 100 plus debating tournaments, which have happened in so many cities that you actually live in, be it Gujarat, be it Delhi itself, uh, be it Chandigarh, be it uh, Pochi, all of these cities and states have been a uh, spectrum and have been a radius for Indian debating. We've had like so many debaters from across the country and we're glad to have all of you here as well. Yes, we have had 300 plus premium schools of India. So like any school that you're participating right now and you're representing your school in Indian debating league, it's actually very, very prestigious and I really love you for having Can you me. the link in uh, sure. the Great. Yes, don't make me call you out if you are unmuted at all points of time. It actually disturbs the flow of my speaking. Yes, we've had 17 global wins. And we've had like an amazing time discussing most of the things. So during the entirety of the session, I'm going to be discussing what is Indian Debating League and why should you join this tournament? Secondarily, 
what is the format that we are following thirdly what is the benefit of going to indian debating league and why it's going to be an absolutely enrapturing journey for you in the very first place note the first thing that you do when you join this zoom meet is mute yourselves we because i don't want it. other people Are compromising it. at all isha stay muted great or uh, does anybody know who is this person right here in front of the slide that's amazing i'm also getting wonderful replies on the chat box utilize the chat box as well if you think i haven't given you enough chance to speak you can also utilize the chat box yes uh putul do you know who this person is in this screen right here okay hello yeah. uh Okay, yeah. So this person is Harish Nataranjan, and they are one of the biggest global debaters that we have in the world right now. And they have actually helped to establish Indian Debating League and Ogly as a future academy, which actually helps all students to get better at all points of time. We have an assistance from an amazing team, which works twenty four hours to ensure that we have a safer space and more knowledgeable platform given to all of the students who have joined today in the very first place. Yes, amazing. That's that's correct answer, is right, Harish Nathanjan. Great that you're utilizing the platform of chat box. Yes. collaborate with us how many of you want to go to like international universities when you actually graduate from school just raise your hand so many i i can see the numbers growing and growing that's immaculate like 37 40 more than 40 people and like 50 that. it goes yeah. amazing if i can just add in over here kashiki i think the yeah. idea is that more than going to a university abroad i think it's so important to make sure that your voice is heard in every platform possible right so the idea of going to a university more than that is that you get a chance to at least meet all the talent adiraj this is not a kid training class you will please not annotate on these decks okay these are serious training sessions so you might want to remove it i am not going to repeat myself again these are large group sizes of 140 of you are doing this and if we want to take the maximum out of the training then we have to make sure that we maintain the discipline and decorum perfect please carry on kashiki i think what we have enjoyed seeing is some of the debate <laughs> all of you please stay okay. perfect so please carry on with this uh, kashiki uh, we want to make sure that you get the chance to represent yourself but it requires years of skill building right okay thank you so much agrim all of you can stop responding kashiki please move next yes uh lower your hands everyone i will ensure that i take everyone when i have further questions so we have had organizations and tournaments such as harvard invitational stanford invitational and with the spirit that i have and i see here i think i'm very confident that after like few years or few months of training with indian debating league you will be able to go to tournaments like stanford invitational ye invitational and harvard invitational i'm so glad to have you all great what is indian debating league and what does it offer we have had past two successful editions and we have had more than 60000 debaters join us and have wide acclamation from this particular tournament and organization itself so indian debating league is powered by the iit delhi debating society and it gives you four things first is growth mindset obviously when you start debating the way you actually think about a particular topic is very expansive and it's extremely multifarious and multidimensional so let's say you're talking about a social issue you will obviously involve things like political issues or you will involve things like technological issues or technological advancements so you don't think about a topic from one angle you also involve multiple different angles which actually help you develop as a person but also helps you develop the speech as you go through second benefit that we have is reflective thinking how many of you know what reflective thinking is and why is it important in life 
keep lowering your hands so that I know who to actually choose. Okay, I'll take Soham. Yes, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, I think so, ma'am. Reflective thinking is that, ma'am, uh, we can read the mind of uh, the person who is sitting in front of us. Slow down to 60. Ma'am? Okay, that's like very near to it. But reflective thinking is when you actually expand your mindset and you start reflecting deeply about what the topic has to offer to you at all points of time. This might look like uh, reflectively uh, or retrospectively this issue has happened and you want to expand or you want to opinionate on it in a much wider way. I will take up various examples and various debating motions throughout the entire training session and I will give you instances of where do we have reflective thinking. Thirdly, we have confident and expressions. So confident is one of the most, confidence is one of the most yeah, important yeah. part of debating itself and it becomes like an important part in instilling like a extremely holistic approach towards debating. This looks like uh, that whenever he was talking in front of a stage or whenever he was actually participating in Indian Debating League, confidence is one of the metrics or one of the rubrics which becomes extremely important for you to get higher marks. So three metrics are, somewhat I will discuss it later, are matter, manner and method. Confidence comes under manner. However, you are sitting in front of the laptop. Are you really listening to whatever the teacher is saying? Are you genuinely paying attention? And are you genuinely trying to grasp whatever the nuances of the training session have to offer to you? Expressions are, are you really serious towards the training? Or are you seriously preparing about the topic which is given to you at all points of time? Fourth thing is global citizens. Obviously, debating is a very international activity. Like people in the United States of America or Sweden or most of the West and most of the Southeast Asian nations actually do debating. And it's such a widespread activity, which means you get to meet so many people from across different nations and you get to interact with them on a regular basis. With the participation in Indian Debating League, you will be participating and you will be interacting with so many people you ne you've never met during your school life as well. So it's like a very unique opportunity for interacting with a lot of people that you haven't met in offline settings because online gives you like much more level playing field and interaction with all of these people. Great. I'm going to give you important details and I want you to pay attention yeah. to it. So note the training session is as widespread as from grade 3rd to 12th. So everybody from all across the uh, like countries and grades are generally coming and joining this. And the finals are going to be held end of November. I'm just going to give you further details right here. Everybody pay attention here. So what is the theme? The theme of this year's Indian Debating League 3.0 edition is India's Odyssey, Ancient India to AI-led India. I'm wow. going to give like space to some people to talk about this theme. Do you know what ancient India to AI-led India has been? Just lower your hand so I can recognize people who genuinely want to answer. I can see some hands. Um. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, Putu and then Dev. Uh, yes, ma'am. So now over here, um, by the theme Ancient India to AI-led India, they mean by how things have changed, how te technology has improved throughout uh, like the prehistoric times to the times we have now, which is like the 2000s, you can say. Because from before, in the prehistoric times, there were many uh, facilities which were not available, which we have now. Yeah, yes, exactly. Thank you so much, Putul. So Putul talks about the trajectory that ancient India has developed so far. So we have become technologically smart. We have chat GPT, we have G20 summits. I think that's come a long way in terms of development. I will take Dev and I will recognize one more person later. And whoever is not getting recognized, ensure that you write it in the chat box because everybody's like opinions and like your thoughts on the particular topic really matters. Yes, Dev, continue. But every time ancient yeah, like in the Vedas, there are so many scriptures that have been that the is in these all it science is always moving those things and Vedas are telling those things. 
Yes, thank you so much, Dev, for that fine opinion. Um, I will take one more person. Um, I think I will take Same. Uh, yes. Uh, so, well, uh, thank you for recognizing me and also for speaking my name correctly. Uh, so, uh, I would like, I like to believe that the ancient India to AI-led India, it has been a long progress, though I believe that several steps, they, there were several steps uh, missed in between. And though we have many facilities available that we did not have in the previous years, but I believe that, uh, but I believe that the, like women's education and everything, it still hasn't evolved that much. So I believe we should do that. Yes, thank you so much, Samayev. I'll recognize more people later. Please lower your hands. Yes, so ancient India to AI-led India means that we start yeah. from the beginning of the country's genesis and we go towards the latest development. So, you know, in your schools, you must have heard uh, different subjects and you have like compartments of subjects. So there is science that you study. There is like invention of zero and you study like history. You also study like uh, so many other subjects like physical education, so many and other subjects that you have no idea about. Excuse me, can you please be on mute? I don't want to hear anybody unmuting themselves and I'm seeing some of you unmuting yourself. Don't do that. Ma'am, will call you upon this. Uh, please carry on, Kaushiki. Um, yes. So, ancient India to AI led India looks like that you want to study everything from the beginning and you want to be latest updated in the latest developments that our country is having. So, I think they've read points out rightly that we've had like scriptures, we have had Vedas, we have developments of so many inventions in India. This looks like invention of zero from India, have so many like historical textbooks or like religious annotations attached to ancient India, so many monuments, so many like architecture, the dynasties, Mughal dynasty or Gupta dynasty, Chola dynasty, all of these dynasties have so far contributed to the rich history of India and have led to India being extremely developed, like technologically advanced. We have had like smart TVs um, or we have had invention of Alexa. All of this has led to a wide journey that India has had in the very first place. I will discuss it very deeply in the next few slides. So I will also ask questions. So please be extremely vigilant. So we have had 36 teams across 28 states and eight union territories participating with us with the latest edition of Indian Debating League. So you get to have three chances to qualify as a part of state team. So let's say you did not do well, or let's say uh, you did not like qualify in the first chance. Don't worry, you have three chances left. So I want all of you to have that same level of enthusiasm when you are a part of qualifiers. And then you get to like participate in state team, which is again very prestigious. Second thing is, Top 42 individuals will be a part of Indian society, Indian schools debating society's national camp and quiz rounds. And Indian schools debating society actually like holds and sends a lot of individuals to world schools debating championship, which is one of the largest debating championship which has ever existed where you have more than 190 nations participating and debating so if you do well here you get to go to worlds so ensure that you actually participate here very vigilantly but also give your 100 percent and we encourage all sorts of participation thirdly pan india recognition and certificates for all so don't get don't get anxious at all. We will be having certificates. We will be having like pan India recognition, which is extremely prestigious for all of you. Lastly, like individuals who perform sure. really good at Indian debating. Uh, yeah, like, uh, please be muted. We will be having wild card entry to Harvard and Stanford Invitational 2024. Like I said earlier, like everybody aspires to go to Ivy League such as Oxford, Harvard, Stanford, Princeton, Cambridge. So this is like a wild card entry to Harvard and Stanford debates. And you get to see how international debates happen and how do they operate, how do they function, what are the technicalities and how you can be a better debater. So ensure that you give your 100% at all points of time. Now, important dates. I want you to be very, very like careful about it, but also keep your like pens and like um, notebooks out so you can write all the dates here. Night. Note the training 
for this particular batch is going to start from today itself, which is 16th October, and it's going to last till 18th October. So ensure that you join all the Dr. days. Can and you also move the slide, please? Yeah, yeah, I'm just completing qualifiers and finals. Yeah. Great. Uh, so ensure that you join the training every day. Be punctual and have the most out of this training session because it's extremely exclusive but also we cater to your doubts in an exclusive doubt clearing session second the qualifiers when is the tournament and when are you actually participating so the qualifiers where everybody has to participate starts oh. from 26th october and yeah, lasts uh, till 7th i think november. your uh, slides are frozen just go next please okay is it visible now go next yes thank you sir yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So 26th October to 7th November, we will be giving out all of the information and everything scheduled, where to join, how to join, what are your topics, etc. very, very soon. So extremely stay tuned and we wouldn't be leaving anybody out. So don't panic, just ensure that you're up, up to date and we will be giving out and rolling out every information. Right, when is the final day? And whoever is scribbling on the screen, don't do it. Yeah, just stop the training for a second. It. Who's this? Please remove it immediately. Because the... Thank you so much. Guys, we will not take tolerance on this one. Please don't do that. You can do that in your small group project groups. But in this format, you will not do any scribbles and annotations. It disturbs everybody, right? We are here oh. for a serious debate. It is a serious competition. If you think otherwise, you are welcome to exit. Because... If I were to remove you from the call, because I can see the names, you won't be able to join the tournament. Right? Can we maintain that? Is that okay? Can I have a quick virtual thumbs up by all of you acknowledging this? Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, they. Ma'am, on 17th to 19th, I have a chess tournament. We'll come to individual queries separately. Can't entertain that in a large group, right? They... So if you have any objection, any concern with respect to any clashes, Especially on the tournament dates, you can drop a mail and I'm just putting my email ID over here. This is not the forum to discuss it, right? Today, I want to make sure that you all go over the format that is expected. Yeah, so that we go over the formats today. We go over the uh, details tomorrow and we do a mock session day after, right? Okay. Thank you so much for that thumbs up. We don't want to see that again. You are being represented by all schools in the country, right? So we want to make sure that you maintain decorum. Uh, okay. Kaushik, please come Pramandu. back to this slide and keep yourself on mute when not spoken to. Okay. Yes, that's so amazing. I want you to please keep in mind. Okay. I want you to keep two, three things in mind. Today, tomorrow, day after, we are going to do the trainings from 6.30 to 8.30. Nidhi Sharbanda, stop doing that, please. 26th to 7th, you are going to do qualifiers. The qualifiers will happen after your school school time, which is from 3.30 to 8.30 onwards. All right. This schedule for this will be circulated on 22nd of October. So don't ask me when will the schedule be uh, circulated. Ikanch, you don't want to annotate. Don't do that. Get off pens in paper person, not virtually. And you will have three rounds to play on qualifiers, which means that on three separate days, we will tell you when to come and join for your debate. Right. And the last thing is that we are going to do the finale day after the interstate rounds. Uh, on 27th of November, but let's get to it. Let's go one by one on the training. I want you to know that we've also given you the breakup of the day-wise training, which means that the first day we are going to do the theme explanation and format introduction so that you can munch on it. You can come back with questions. Archana, just one second. Day two, we are going to give you the tips and tricks of speeches because we've realized the students sometimes who join later are also good because they've been following what the training format is. Often we've seen children who have debated a lot may not win because they're so arrogant or maybe so overconfident. So I do want to make sure that you follow the training tips clearly because there's a format and there's a rubric for, which ma'am will be introducing. Nutan, be on you. The third day we are going to be doing mocks in practice. Is there, if there is anybody who is not on the WhatsApp group, you will please drop us an email. I have put the email on the chat box. It's hello at the rate ugly.ai because you have to be on the WhatsApp group for all communication, right? All right, with that, if you can move next, uh, Kaushiki, just move next on the call, on the slide. Can you see the details of the sessions that we will go through? 
uh, over to you, Kashuki. You can give them a high level idea. A lot of you have debated with us earlier, but we have a lot of new students, so please allow us to answer them. Kashuki, before you go further, Garthi, what's your question, please? Ekanch, what's your question? Then otherwise, lower your hands, please, if you don't have a question. Ma'am, can you just tell me how many pupils are there in as per team? We can't tell you that because we are yet to form teams. But what happens is that if I were to think for you, that finale will typically have a winning team, which means that they would have competed against another team in the semi-finals, which means that there would be four teams uh, per category that will come to IIT Delhi. And those four teams are going to be the top four states, right? Before that, we also have an interstate team, uh, which we will create the teams for. So it is quite competitive, but the fact is that there's an opportunity to first represent your state after the qualifiers. Um, okay, I can, yeah, go ahead, Sanu. Uh, Ma'am, could you please explain a little more about uh, our topic, we will, Ancient we will. to AIL in India? We will. We will be, I will go follow in a structure. So if you don't have a question with respect to what we have covered so far, allow Kashiki Ma'am to finish because she will keep answering the questions and this is already a part of the module. Sure, Ma'am. So, so Kashiki no Ma'am, over to you again. Yeah, great. Uh, I will be taking all the questions, so don't worry about it. Great. What is the session one is going to be all about? So, A, it's like a very brief intro of what Indian Debating League is and what is the theme. So, I will be discussing the theme once again when we have specific motions with us. Secondarily, theme explanation and a quick discussion on it, which we will be doing. Thirdly, what is the format that we are following in Indian Debating League? We will be going ahead and discussing it in depth in the next few slides. Session two is all going to be about an in-depth explanation of how do you have to deal with that format. So it's one versus one. So you will have somebody called proposition who supports the motion and you will have somebody called opposition who negates the motion. What is this format all about? What are speaker roles? What are the responsibilities of every speaker? Thirdly, what is the structure of an argument? So how do you make an argument and how do you convince the judges? How do you win on multiple metrics? The metrics can be manner, matter, and method. How to give effective rebuttals to your opponents and how to disagree with them politely and how to ensure that you have maximum points on multiple other metrics. The last session, which is going to be a mock day, you will be discussing a uh, entire motion with me and you will Ashikina, be preparing. Stop the training for a second. Please stop sharing. Karthik, can you please come on? Go? Yeah, Karthik, can you please raise your hand? You know, we have just finished a training for 200 students who were in grade 3 to 5 and not a single annotation was done. And I'm really encouraging you. I think it's a great evening to go out and play. If you aren't able to focus, we will be sharing the recordings. Please don't annotate and please don't be on this call. You do understand that we can see who's annotating and I trust your maturity to not do this, please. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, Art, let me just finish. So if you're okay. not eating, if you're being forced to sit through the training, please feel free to exit. You will have the recording. I do want to see a few numbers drop, but no annotation like this. This is not a chid's play at all. Right? I told you, you're representing, we've got approximately 26 different state students who are joining in, watching you do this funny stuff. This is not the time, please. Right? I'm very happy to share the recordings across. Go ahead, Art. Please go ahead. Art Modani, you had a question? Yes, ma'am. I was asked, I wanted to ask Kaushiki, ma'am, to please go a bit slow. Actually, my yeah. network was like, Lagging. No worries. All right, then you will have this with you as well. Or oh, just read what is the question that you have? No, ma'am. Oh, just yes, I wanted to say this one. Sure, no worries. Uh, yeah, ma'am, I was asking at what point are team debates going to happen? And what so, is the size of this? Yeah. So the qualifiers are one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to do three chances between 26th to 7th of November. Right? And basis that, we are going to create the teams for the state. And can it be a dynamic team across different schools? Yes, it can. It depends on the cumulative scores and it depends on the total amount of wins. Right? Myra, go ahead, please. Mr. Qualifiers round will be held online, right? Yeah. All of it is. So, you. you are going to be doing qualifiers till the interstate rounds. And the interstate rounds are in 18th and 19th of November. So, hold on. 
right only the finale is offline because we want to make sure that you are prudently utilizing your time yeah shlok go ahead please excuse me yes and the interstate round will also be an online round yeah, right it will, it will. and ma'am uh, the dates will be between somewhere around 17th november we were informed 18th 19th oh, thank you ma'am shojana sure. sure. go ahead ma'am Yeah, you should just one second. I just want to be respectful to the people who are raising their hand. Jill, will go ahead. Um, uh, ma'am, there will be teams fighting with other teams or a person on only a person fighting with another team. person. Competing, competing is a better word. You are all going to compete as individual, okay? And Vashiki, ma'am, has to cover the format, right? So we will just take you through the format, but all of you are and going to compete as individuals. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, one me. more doubt. Finish your doubt. Just one second. Sanjeev, be on mute. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jilmil, you are done. Shlok, go ahead, please. Ita kani laga aur uta shamne ja. I'm calling you guys out. Uh, Soham, do you have a question? Your hands are up. Put your hands down if you don't have doubts. Go ahead. Go ahead quickly. This is utilize the time faster, please. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, you will share the slides again, ma'am. I will. I will. We will go ahead. And yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, will the topics be on the spot or uh, will it be already given, ma'am? You will get the prep time. So why don't you do one thing? Why don't we just finish what Kashyapi ma'am has to say, and then I'll come back to your questions again, right? Because most of them are planned. Yes, this is that any annotations distracting me and distracting the session, and that's not what I'm going to entertain at all. Right, because it's okay. much easier for us to just dump the recording on the group. We don't want to do that, and we want to make an example out of it, because debating is going to have equity rooms of decorum. You must learn to respect and maintain decorum, right? Ashwini, yes, ma'am, you were taking us through what is going to happen in the sessions. I think it's quite self-explanatory. Session one is about orientation, format, introduction, which I want to get to, please. Tomorrow's session is going to be about speaker roles and responsibility. what is the opposition speaker going to do what is the proposition speaker is going to do what is the structure of the arguments and how do you make effective rebuttals okay and the session three is going to be about mocks let's go next to koshiki okay this is the most important thing that we have okay and i really want you to pay attention because this is how you are going to get marked we like to upfront tell you how you are going to get marked because it's the most important thing to understand right Okay, I'm going to start removing a few people. Kashiki, please carry on. But the problem is that they won't be able to join the debate then. Carry on, Kashiki, please. Yeah. So yes, I was earlier telling you that marking rubric is very important for you to keep in mind when you start debating. So what are you judged on, and what are the judges actually looking on? So they are looking for three things in your speech. First is matter. what is the person saying so let's say the topic if topic is about um is cats are cats better or are dogs better so it's important for you to define what cats are who cats are and why are they better than dogs so matter is really important the quality of your content is equal to higher marks so it's not important for you to give 10 arguments which are under analyzed give five arguments which are over analyzed so let's say you have point a so you need to explain what point a is and what is the example of point a similarly in your schools you're given you're giving examinations so obviously your teachers say there's a heading there's an explanation and there's always an example the same thing you have to apply here you have to ensure that you have you have larger levels of explanation given to one idea so you can have multiple ideas just you need to explain what those ideas look like in the very first place what is the relevance of your argument are you trying to give an argument which is happening in 21st century or are you giving an argument which has happened way back in 19th century you have to prove the relevance of your argumentation and are you really sticking to your side so let's say your opposition you have to negate the argumentation but apparently you're speaking for the motion it's going to be it's going to be minus which means your points are going to be uh, literally not favoring you at all points of time so ensure that you are relevant to your topic but also relevant to your side if you're given proposition ensure that you stick with your side and do not just take a very soft stance or neither do you deflate your side thirdly 
quality of your arguments and examples. So in short, whenever you create a speech, try to research very deeply. So let's say you're discussing economics. So try to discuss what are stock markets or let's say what is economics? Who are the prominent economists who have genuinely created free market capitalism, all of these things, right? So it's very important for you to look at the quality of your arguments and not the numeric, numeric value of the arguments. Second is manner. What is manner and why should we care about it? So manner is basically of multiple types. First is eye contact. So obviously, if you're constantly reading from a paper, your eyelids are going to be down. And do you think you will be getting like higher marks? I don't think so. So it's really important for you to ensure that you keep interacting with the individuals who are right there in front of your like your audience or your judges, your opponents. So everybody has to look at you and you're trying to interact. So eyes are generally, they speak a lot. So your eye contact should be really like very strict but also extremely engaging because your audience has to never feel that you're trying to disengage with them. Secondarily, try to ensure that you do not read off the document. So try to ensure that you practice shorthand. What is shorthand? So you do not write the entirety of your speech. So let's say your five bullet points are mm, uh, India is a developing country. India is a technologically smart country. Thirdly, India is also moving towards developments such as women's rights or trying to have maximum level of literacy rates. And India has also become technologically better. So all of these points are your bullet points. So try to write in shorthand as opposed to explaining everything in your document. Because if that is happening, you will genuinely look at your document and you will keep reciting it like a poetry. You have to ensure that you explain things to an audience and do not use paper at all points of time. Write, using, write the bullet points and then try to explain it in front of the judges. Your expressions really matter. So let's say your expressions are generally robotic. So do you think you will be getting like higher points? Maybe you get like a seven, eight, but you have to ensure that your expressions are also engaging. So let's say if you have, if you have something happy to say, try to act cheerful. If you have something shocking to say, like let's say the statistics. So the uh, so Germany's population is increasing to 186 million. So try to act like shocked. It's like the population of a country is genuinely increasing. Try to engage through rhetorical questions. What is rhetorical question? Does anybody have an answer to it? I also lower your hand. I see so many hands. Ma'am, rhetorical questions are questions where you know the answers, but you are just uh, telling it for the sake of emphasis. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. And also ensure that you raise your hand so I know who you are and who's actually like giving an answer. I don't know who was speaking right now. But yes. Yeah, that's amazing. So try to ensure that so rhetorical questions are basically given for emphasis. Do you agree with me? Do you think the population is rising of India? Although you know the answers to these questions, but these questions are generally given for larger emphasis for ensuring that we make the speech more engaging and more fulfilling and more enrapturing, I would say. Ethical conduct, the most important one. Right now, we have to ensure that we give equal chances to everybody. So why do we say raise your hand? Raising your hand gives equal opportunity to everyone. And if you try to speak before you have risen your hand, it's actually sad because you try to take away spaces from other people. So ensure that you're extremely generous. You don't attack the opponent by their personality. You attack their arguments. Do not be like, oh, they don't know stuff. You can't really predict that. But ensure that you try to attack the argument and not the person itself. This is called a fair ethical conduct in debating. Because debating can't be really hostile. Can it be? So the fun of debating actually loosens out when you try to make it a battlefield. Because it's not war or any sort of battlefield anyway. Great. Let's understand third method and then I'm going to take up doubts. What is method? Method is basically a strategy. What is strategy? So let's say... Uh, you are proposition and your opposition is trying to, let's say, ask you questions which are important and you have to answer them. So let's say if you're not engaging with your opposition and you're just claiming your own points, will you be getting enough marks? Not at all. So it's important for you to ensure that you engage with your opponent. So my opponent has said this, this, I want to rebut it. I want to disagree with them. So let's say my opposition has said ice cream is better and you don't agree with them. So what will you do in your proposition speech? You will say that my opposition has said that ice cream is better. I don't think so. It's true. Ice cream is really unhealthy for body. That's all. Second, 
do you think your arguments of proper structure? So structure is very important. So try to practice this. Always start with an introduction. Always then have a body and then conclude. This is also true for essay writing competitions. I'm not saying that essay and public speaking are same, but you sort of can replicate the structure from there. So introduction and what are you trying to say? What is the debate topic all about? Second, what is the analysis to it? So are you trying to better explain it? And the explanation should come after you've given a heading. Because if you give a heading and you don't explain it, what is the point of having a heading? So try to explain every heading. Thirdly, try to give examples or try to give conclusion in your speech so that everybody knows what you're actually talking about and does it have any rea like realistic specifications that we have to care about. Thirdly, rebuttals and integration in speech. I have extensively discussed why rebuttals are really important. Does Can anybody tell me what is rebuttal? And also raise your hand, I will recognize you. What is rebuttal? Okay, I see quite a few hands. I'm going to take Nandan. Ma'am, rebuttals are when we counter a point of someone else in a structural manner so that their point is proved wrong and instead your counter supports your argument. Yes, exactly. So rebuttals are basically when you engage with your opponent and you actually disagree with them in a much more structured manner. Somebody in the chat box asked me what is a structure. I should repeat it. So structure is introduction of an argument, body, which means analysis and explanation of that argument. And conclusion is basically like the end outcome. What are you trying to achieve and what have you proven in the entirety of your speeches? Mm -hmm. Great. And also time limit. The time limit is going to be for three minutes for everybody. And try to stick with that time limit. Somebody speaks for only one minute. Try to complete three minutes. Somebody who speaks for five minutes. You will not be negatively marked. But ensure that you do not like exceed your time limit to let's say six or seven minutes. Or you keep talking and you don't give enough space for other people to actually talk. To ensure that you try to stick with the time limit at all points of time. And divide it equally. Any doubts still now? Let oh, me take it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can, I, may I suggest that because we have quite a few of you, please put your doubts on the chat box. It will allow us to respond faster. Keep putting your doubts in. I just want to finish the structure once, Kaushiki. Uh, so if you have any doubts so far, just put it on the chat box. It gives us an idea of how you're getting before we get into the structure of it, please. So I'm going to give you 90 seconds. Put all your doubts in. Um, all of you who have your hands up, please put your doubts in the chat box. We're watching. Yeah. Kaushiki, just give them 90 seconds to put all their doubts in. Uh, me, yes, yeah, just, just one second, please. Can you just put your doubts on the chat? I will call upon students that I want to speak to. Excuse, yes? excuse me, ma'am. Can you just once go on? Go behind. Just go behind on the slide. Yeah. Kashi, can you go to the slide earlier before this? Uh, the slide before? Yeah, just stay on that for a second. I'm just going to just uh, go. I'm going over your doubts. I'm just going to keep answering it quickly. This is very helpful that you're putting your thoughts on the chat. Okay, so let me go one by one. Okay, I'm going to start in a sequence. So one versus one means two people are going to debate. So when you will come in for the online tournament, two of you will go into a room and you will be competing against each other. That's what it means, swasti, right? Arshia, I think also had asked the same. Okay, right? So in the next slide, she's going to go with the format. So give us a minute. She'll tell you how those two people are going to compete. Okay? Will you be choosing the prop and the op? Will you be choosing the topics? No. We are going to help you with that. Ayushi, we are not going to tell you what Vedic culture is because we know that you can uh, research about it. Devishi, we, Devanshmi, we are going to just go over the format so we will tell you about the three minute and the rebuttal. Hold on to that. Jasmine, automatically the marks become 30, right? If the matter, manners, method is 30, 10, 10, 10, then it's going to be uh, one by one. Ethical criteria for this conduct right now, Vamika, means the fact that you will not be disrespectful. Okay, so when I'm arguing with you, I can also hit below the bed. I can use language which is not appropriate. If you're going to maintain some of that decorum, it is helpful. We have had people and children raise issues in the EPT room, uh, where then we've had to have formal apologies before we move the tournament. So we take this very seriously, but we will be circulating 
what ethics means separately as well. Will we get the results after the argument? You will get all your scores later. Uh, on who's progressing? Counterpoint will come to that. So I can see a lot more structure uh, questions. So we can uh, go forward cautiously and then we can come back to the questions that they have. Right? Uh, love it. Please keep posting your questions. It allows us to eye view. But most of your questions, as I can see, is on, on the structure. So if you are done with this one, I think we are. You can move forward, Kaushiki. Go into the format of the debate itself. So that I want you to spend the evening today to chew over what we've taught you. So let's go over the format. Majority of your questions were there. Okay. So stop posting questions now. Let's take a pause. We've done 90 seconds to three minutes. Pause right now. Focus on what man is saying. Right, Agrim? Uh, focus. Okay. Great. Uh, so all of your doubts regarding the format and how to approach debating is going to clear clarify right now. So just pay attention. What is the format in qualifiers where everybody is participating? It's called one versus one. What is one versus one? It's an individual format where you give one main speech and one reply speech. So there are two sides in debating. Because you will obviously have two sides. And if you have one side where everybody is agreeing, there is no debate. So there are two sides. The two sides are called proposition and opposition. Proposition is against the side. So let's say the topic is, I will write the topic in the chat box. This house believes that cats have done more harm than dogs. It's a pet debate. Yes. So no offense, but still. Great. So the topic then says on side proposition, you will have to say cats have done more harm. And on opposition, you will say dogs have done more good. So you just go opposite. So proposition is in support and opposition is on against. So you will negate everything that side proposition has been saying so far. So there are two speeches basically. So one person has to give two speeches of six minutes in total. So side proposition you will have a main speech, then you will have a reply speech. I will explain the format in the next few slides as well. I'm just giving a preliminary introduction to what the format looks like. On side opposition, you have a main speech and then you have a reply speech. How do you go about this? So proposition speaker one, main speech, three minutes. Then you will have opposition speaker first and their main speech, which is going to be three minutes. Then you will have a reply speech of proposition, which is going to last for another three minutes. And then the last speaker is going to be from opposition side, which will be giving a reply speech. So proposition speaker main speech, opposition speaker main speech, then proposition reply speech, then opposition reply speech. So first Washington one person gives two speeches, then. main speech and reply speech. Two will be shared before the qualifiers and one will be impromptu. So as spoken earlier, you will be given three chances. First two chances, you will be given a motion beforehand. And we will giving out, we will be giving out the motion. We will be having a discussion. All of those things will be given at, given out to you with the schedule as well very, very soon. And one round is going to be impromptu. For, for first two rounds, it's going to be very prepared. So you will be given like 48 hours, 24 hours. The motion will be given to you. Don't worry about it. And you will be preparing both sides for and against. On the day of the qualifiers, when you join the Zoom meet, you will be given what side you have to speak on. So you will have to prepare on both sides until and unless informed which side you are speaking on on the day of the qualifiers. The third round is going to be very interesting. It is where you get topic and your side right then and there. And then you start preparing. You get like enough preparation time. Are we clear on what preparation rounds, like prepared rounds and impromptu rounds look like? Two prepared rounds, the motion Ashi, will be given. You have to prepare on two sides. Ashi, can you also move the slide next, please? Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Um, and then... No will be. So just hold on, Kashki. I just want to keep taking the doubts that they are asking as well because they are maintaining the discipline. So I think now, so women, what happens is if you see that you are making the first, so assuming women, you are proposition, you are for the motion in the blue box, then you're making the first speech, then you're listening to your opposition and you're replying for it because you're replying it there and then that's something that you can also prior prepare. Okay. Um, 
just passing Pashki, if you could just spend a minute and go over the doubts, then I'll ask them to pause the doubt uh, typing as well. Okay, are you sure pinging this again? But uh, we'll come to how you should research, right? Trisha, if you see the duration of the whole debate will end up being 12 minutes because it's three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Or even if you who are making notes, you can focus here because this slides as well as the PDF will be sent to you, right? Uh, you yeah. should make an eye contact. So practice the speech as you write it. Uh, just hold on. I'm just going over the doubts. Kashik, if you want to pick up a few. Um, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. I had a doubt that how to counter a point that is agreed by all. There is no agreement. You're just going up uh, against a person, right? So he's making a point. Yes, ma'am. And then you're going and counter. Like, Ma'am, how to counter a point that he makes is like agreed by the audience that it is true. But so how can we like counter view, it? Right? You can't hear the audience. The audience is not giving a view. You are only hearing his view. There's nobody else who's speaking in the middle. You understand? So, so for example, uh, let's assume you and I are in a debate. I say a point, you say a point. Then I say a point and you say a point. So there is no audience interaction in that sense. One by one, please. Yeah, Arman. Mom, mom, sorry to disturb, but mom, actually, mom, I had one doubt. Go ahead, Arman. That's why I called you. Mom, uh, mom, what is a reply speech? A uh, reply speech is when you're replying to the person who spoke before you. So if you can see, you made a speech, which is called constructive. Your opposing side has made their speech. And then you are saying your speech as a counter to the speech you heard. So if I were you, Ar Arman, I would prepare for six minutes of speech time. One word is normally a second. So which means a three minute speech tends to be 180 words. I would prepare for 180 plus 180. But as I'm listening to my opposition, I will say, ah, this is a point I researched about. Let me counter that also. But this is something that we will get into the details of it tomorrow. Today was just an idea of introducing. Ranji, Mom, it's like a, uh, how you're rebutting it. Your reply could be the same. Just allow me to take a few questions because you are asking a lot of questions. Okay, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, we are going to follow only one thing. I'm just watching the chat. So allow us to quickly just plan through the chats on the questions that we're getting. Uh, Excuse so me, ma'am. Yeah, just one second, please. Uh, what type of debate? Ranji, do not reaping 20 times. It doesn't add any value. Right, I can read your question even in one go. So we are obviously doing one versus one over here. Excuse uh, me, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Kashiki, do you want to take a few questions? Jasmine, don't uh, annotate. Yes, ma'am. I'm actually answering via chat as well. So yeah. I have answered most of the questions, so they can keep coming. Uh, ma'am, I had a question. Yeah. Uh, Matt, what if there's a point that is extremely like uh, accepted by all? Like, ma'am, I had a debate in my school. Like, some it was uh, that plastic should be banned in all of India, and uh, like I was against the speech. Uh, so I put all points forward, but then the uh, person with the oh. idea said that we should make it slowly change, and then, ma'am, I had no point. So. Like, yeah. what should I do? I heard, when the motion seems to be loaded against you, like <sighs> like the one that you gave an example of, I think that's a very good question. Kaushiki, would you like to take that on? Yes. So at this point of time, ensure that you try to mitigate it. So what is a comparative debate? You try to ass like assess what both sides are trying to achieve. And then you try to rebut what the other side is trying to achieve and why is my solution more better. So this is like a very holistic way of approaching debating, but also you keep the other side at its best. I hope that answer works for you. Ma'am, but here this type of topic can be biased, like only for the motion or a particular certain uh, motion can get the uh, right answer and he can be judged well. Uh, no, do no, not I... keep this mind in debating. No side is tilted. 
debate is about which side is bringing more solutions so never think that or like all the topics are favoring one side either proposition or opposition because like core adjudication panels or people who actually make motions ensure that we have balanced perspective on both sides and it is actually debatable if we have one side being favored a lot what is the debate then so it's important for you to keep a mindset that all motions are very debatable and all motions are very balanced it's about the kind of and perspective i just want to make sure that we go over ojaswi's point ojaswi uh, one is the fact that sh- plastics should be banned uh, can be defined by you as an opposition to say i think plastics should be banned over a period of time so as a person who's debating it you ha- always have the opportunity to define your motion define the topic so we will get into the nuances of it as to how you could have defined it and then got into the details of it that you can't ban it overnight you um, can't, i said the same car, thing yeah i know so mm-hmm. your cars will go away right car bumpers everything is plastic right so so the point is that anyways from a motion standpoint i don't think you will get loaded motions we balance that out very well we are known for great motions uh but more than that i think we should go over this uh, specifics over here i just want to get you you know some of you are asking such uh, basic questions so i just want to iterate the important things before we go into the techniques a little you must make sure that you are attending the three days of training which we are doing today is an introduction yeah. to go when we go deeper into the format and third day we are going to do mocks okay recordings and training will be made available uh can somebody stop belling the cat why would you do that in a formal training session the second thing uh, is that yeah just don't 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 do the ma'am ma'am I'm, i'm here i'm just repeating myself the qualifiers are going to start from 26 to 7th of november the topics will be given to you prior to that and tomorrow ma'am will go ahead and uh, share techniques on how to uh, you know prepare for it right okay over to you kashiki uh, may i exit uh, the person who is making this noise? ma'am may i just ask one last question if possible uh, please put it in the chat please ma'am i have already done that but can i have reply to allow I... us to allow allow us to reply you can see that we both are training as well trust me all of this will get responded okay kashiki over to you And also don't worry and don't panic your questions will not be left unanswered we will be having you let us speak and we will be clarifying all of it and after like the session is over we will be having like individual doubt clearing session as well so don't worry about it all of your doubts will be like you just very panicky at this point of time don't worry no, no, let's go let's go archana uh, are you a grade 6 and above student don't unmute yourself again again please carry on kashik Yes. So, first proposition speech is also called constructive speeches. So, obviously, your topic will be given. There are three chances, three rounds. Two rounds are prepared, which means you will be given a topic and you will have to prepare both sides. And on the day of the qualifiers, when you join the Zoom meet, you will be allocated sides. So, the first thing that you have to do when you start preparing, and I have heard so many questions about how to research. how to research easy try to compartmentalize so this topic is very vast and the theme is very holistic so ancient india to ai led india so your topic is divided into three themes first is ancient india harappa civilization indus valley civilization what was uh, what was the earliest civilization how did people uh, like try to have livelihood what were their lifestyles cave paintings all of these so try to have a general idea of what ancient india was do not go into depth because we do not want to know who was the king of harappa civilization although there was none because the sources are unfounded so we only want to know what you understand like the generalized idea of what ancient india looks like how were people living what were the civilizations try to have a main idea and try to be very concrete about it second is medieval india medieval india is where you have mughal dynasty like history is very very vast and you can't really read like 1000 pages of, of books it can be intimidating what can you do instead try to go to sites which are very credible what are those sites like like wikipedia i wouldn't call it the most credible sites because wikipedia is editable what can you do is like take up a topic go to wikipedia link try to have a brief about it and then after when you look like scroll down through wikipedia you will have multiple books by really great scholars like romila thapar or like so many like books which are generally given so these sites sites can be don history tv historical encyclopedias 
and so many D discovery channel history tv 18 and all of these scholarly sites actually tell you what to research on and these are very small sites so you can read for like three minute article two minute article so try to have a brief from wikipedia then scroll down you will see multiple like sites which actually help you navigate topics easily so that is going to be your medieval india try to understand what is mughal dynasty when was it start started? What who was Akbar? Who was Babur? Who was Hima Humayu? What uh, what are the other features of medieval India? Architecture. What were the lifestyles of people? How did they dress up? What is the culture? What is the distinctive factor of every eth ethnic uh, let's say individuals? All of these things come under medieval India. Try to, like if you if you are in Delhi, go to Red Fort or not exactly go to Red Fort, but try to understand the history of it. Like uh, when was uh, like Lal Kila built, when was Red Fort built, when was India Gate built, because all of it is a part of Indo-Islamic architecture. Try to have an in-depth knowledge of what this looks like. Lastly is modern India. When did modern India start? It was during the realms of British colonialism. Was... Kina, you can also move your slide uh, to the theme one. That'll be helpful. Okay. Just a second. Yeah. Um, I all of you are also anyways going through this uh, in your school, right? You don't have to go and cram your topic uh, or your textbook, but just be generally aware, okay? Once you give you the topic, then you can start researching about it. So exactly, you will be given the topic, so don't worry about it. I'm just giving you how to research and how to divide your topics because, you know... <laughs> Ancient India to AI late India is generally so many centuries and you can't really <laughs> compartmentalize all centuries. So try to divide it into themes, like sub-themes. <laughs> the last theme, theme I want to focus on is modern India. Modern India starts from the trade relationships that we had in East India Company. So British colonialism, how was India back then? Like it was genuinely called like the golden bird, like just so rich, like the treasure was exceptional. There's so many videos. If you go and type modern India, there are so many lectures given by historical scholars from Oxford and Yale. So there are sites like always go to Oxford history and Yale history. You will get everything. Oxford lectures and Yale lectures. Ma'am? Yeah, did anybody say ma'am? Just like raise your hand, I will like clarify everything. I'm just like, let me complete. The last thing I want to focus on is try to be updated. So there are extremely credible news channels. Uh, so these cre credible news channels look like, try to read, if you have a Hindu subscription, that's amazing. Times of India, New York Times, Guardian, uh, editorial pages of Hindu, they give you opinions on what everything looks like and very nuanced opinions. So try to look at extremely credible and top notch. So Reuters and United Nations report. Right now we're having like conflicts within like world Israel, Palestine, and a lot of us are uninformed. And that's that is something that we have to improve. So how do we go? Always trust the most credible sites. This looks like Reuters, Guardian. UN, United Nations Human Rights Report, Amnesty International. So all of these sites actually help you. And Economist, obviously, so, Economist. Uh, that's sites. a lot of information, Kaushiki, ma'am. Thank you so much. But we will put this across on your groups, a few of them. It doesn't mean that you treat it like an exam. It's just for your general awareness, okay? You can get into researching awesome. topics once we get to giving you the topics. Carry on, Kaushiki ma'am. So these are some illustrative topics that ma'am has given you. Uh, you can go ahead and have a look. Okay. Archana Gupta, Aiti Pal, uh, and Arshia, please mute yourself immediately. Uh, don't unmute yourself. You know that we can mute you all, but we choose not to do it. Okay? Okay. Let's go next. Uh, yes, Kaushiki. so I have... Yeah. Yes, so I have compiled like a example and illustration of what can come? So these are the, the examples. So it's just extremely be careful about it. So I want to discuss the first motion. What is the first motion? It is it says this house believes that India should be portrayed as the center of knowledge with reference to Vedic age. So there are multiple types of motion categories. So the first category is analysis motion. Whenever you see a word called this house believes that, it's basically which value is better. So on proposition. You will say India should be, yes, India should be portrayed as a center of knowledge, reference to Vedic age. On side opposition, you will say, no, 
India should not be portrayed as the center of knowledge which has a central point attached to Vedic age. There can be multiple ways which can be portrayed as a center of knowledge for India. So I'm going to take like two hands if we if there's any in the first question. Do you understand the first question? Any opinions? Yeah, first motion, I will actually like take up hands. Why do you think India should be portrayed as the center of knowledge reference to Vedic age? There can be multiple reasons. Um, if I try to announce your name, try to unmute yourself. I am taking opinions right now and arguments too. Why do you think India should be portrayed as the center of knowledge reference to Vedic age? Uh, I mom, see hands, mom. I take Parakram. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma India should be taken as the knowledge of uh, Vedic reference as well. All the Vedic, the four Vedic have been written in India only. And ma'am, all the universities like Nalanda give a lot of knowledge which can make India the Vishwa Guru, which we always say. Yes, that was amazing. So, you know, India should be portrayed because like Nalanda universities and so many universities which came during the Vedic age, back when you had like Bronze Age and like when so many universities and gurukuls were established, where teachers used to sit on the ground and used to explain to students what did like values look like, how was kindness and compassionate uh, values were a part of Indian education system, which was extremely very grounded and very holistic back then. You had to like, like if you have seen your parents say that hey we used to cross rocks and so many difficult pathways to reach our like college or institution that was basically derived of things like hard work or extreme level of perseverance and that was basically from the Vedic age itself anything on opposition why do you think there should be other uh, reference to uh, education than Vedic age I see Aryan unmuting Aryan go ahead uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I believe that uh, what uh, he said was completely different, but I believe that India should be portrayed as not only a center of knowledge, but even as uh, the most idealistic way of trade originated. The Indian civilization or the civilization that stretched across, uh, stretched across the Indian subcontinent basically guided other civilizations. I would like to give examples. Um, Egypt, etc. On what is the idealistic way to trade and also many paths, example, the Silk Route that originated from China and Mongolia that passed through many centers in India. So I believe that India not only should be portrayed as a center of knowledge, but also as a way of idealistic trade. Yeah, that was really amazing. I'll take Ojasvir. Uh, yes, ma'am. I would like, like to give the opposition to this, ma'am, uh, uh, that uh, the way that India shouldn't be looked as the only country with a lot of technology, a lot of advancement in knowledge, but uh, as uh, like one of the contenders for the topmost um, areas of knowledge. Uh, say, just like how uh, Aryan gave the example of the Silk Route, etc, etc, or the Xi Dynasty of China, they have existed for a very long time and have done extremely impressive things for their times. Is And another example being Egypt. I don't think that um, India should be looked at the only country uh, with the uh, this all this technologically advanced times, uh, but one of the main ones. I may yes. speak. Um, I will take it really later. We have like two more motions as well. Just like I have one question uh, related to what just just we said. Ma'am, uh, it is said that India should be portrayed as a center of knowledge with reference to the Vedic age. So, is it fine uh, during our speech if you are in the opposition? So, in our uh, main speech, is it fine if we connect it as uh, as to he as to connecting to what he said? Uh, like India was not the only center. It can, uh, like other countries yes. can also. Yeah, yeah, may yeah, I absolutely. give? Ma may I speak on the second topic? No. Yes, I will take it later. Just be patient. I have like two other motions to discuss as well, right? Second. I love the energy that you all are bringing in. That's the whole idea to get you to start debating. But these are example motions. So let's go over these other two also because there's a variation that man wants to tell you about. Okay? Ma'am, so, I'm, I'm asking to speak on the second topic only. Achha, yeah, I will take it. Allow ma'am to go over it. Ma'am, over to you. 
Yes. So the second motion. So the journey that we're taking is I explain the motion, what we have to do, what is the binary in this motion. And then I give you space to talk. Second, is this house regrets Indian rulers that become allies of the Mughal Empire? So I want to give us little contextualization. So, you know, oftentimes students jump onto argument without giving a context. So it's very important for debaters to introduce a topic. So if the motion says this house regrets Indian rulers that become allies allies of the Mughal Empire, the first responsibility of you as a constructive speaker, which means main speaker, is to introduce what Mughal Empire is. Because like audiences or judges wouldn't understand what Mughal Empire is, although they will, but you have to give a context to where your argument is germinating from. Who are allies? Who are Mughal Empire? Who are Indian leaders? Can you name some? Why do we think on site proposition do we have to regret them becoming allies of Mughal Empire. So ask these what, why, where, how questions the first time you actually see a motion. These are examples of it, but try to connect it with some background knowledge so that people know what you're actually talking about. Don't just simply run into arguments because every argument has a background or a context given to it in the very first place. It's very important. Uh, yes. yes. Again, uh, um, Kaushiki, maybe you can go a little slower. So I can't hear the lag uh, right now. Uh, this is to the child who is saying there's a slight lag, but you can go a little slower. Pra Parakram is not able to, no, sorry, Mayank is not able to hear you, Koshki. See, the point okay. I'm making is that you have the opportunity to define the terms the way you deem fit. That's the beauty of it, right? So utilize it. Utilize it to the best. But Koshki, the third, yeah, Hitat wanted to say something about this one. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. I have prepared a speech on the se second topic. May I share it with the whole seminar? Um. Okay. If it's going to be under a minute, quickly, we can hear you. Welcome to my worthy opponent and namaskar to my judicator. Today, this house regrets Indian rulers that became allies of the Mughal Empire. First of all, let us state the facts. When the Mughal Empire came to India and what changes did they make? Mughal Empire came to India when one of the generals of Ibrahim Lodi, the last ruler of the Lodi dynasty, general allowed and invited Muhammad Ghori to come to India and be a ruler. He mistakenly and foolishly thought that he would come and ravage his empire and take all the loot and go back to his Mongolian empire. But what his general didn't think of was that Muhammad Ghori wanted to expand his empire and wanted to establish one in India itself. And because of that, they didn't know that what kind of harm and a cultural difference would be produced in the great Indian subcontinent. And there were many changes that were brought to India, most of them being negative. First Thank of all, so that is hard. Thank you. 60 seconds, thank you so much. But I do want to make sure that all of you understand that regrets changes the motion. So the moment you get into regrets, this house regrets the Indian rulers that became allies to the Mughal Empire, the meaning becomes opposite. Right? It's not this house support, it becomes regret. But Hidar, thank you so much for taking it up. Ma'am, could I, ma could I just uh, provide an opposition I perspective? Give... I would just take... Ma'am, can I oppose the point? You know, if you do that, then I won't be able to cover a few more things of training that we want to do. But Kaushiki, ma'am, on you, can we take one opposing points, please? Ma'am, I will just take 30 yes. seconds. Can I just uh, one point? Uh, I have given way too chance to Aryan, so I will be given more chances. And also, like, on the day of qualifiers, you all will be getting a chance to speak. So I want you to shine there. Um, yes, I will be taking Bhavika. You've been raising your hand for a while. I had a query regarding um, this. Yes, this will be dead later. Uh, meanwhile, just Shabha. lower your hand and let me recognize somebody who speak who Ma wants to speak from side. Ma'am, can I oppose this? Can I oppose this? Ma'am, can you explain once how we graded on the basis? Ma'am, can I oppose? Excuse me. Ma'am, can I oppose this? I want to speak from side opposition. Okay, all, of you, all of you, all of you, you are not recognizing what the trainer said. She's called out for Bhavika. Let's respect her. We love the fact that you want to debate straight away. Okay, so we're going to have an exciting time tomorrow and day after. I can sense it.
But Bhavika, are you there? Are you going to take up the opportunity, dear? Ma'am, no, but I, I just had a query. I can I can clear okay. that later. So hold on. So I want to give uh, Kashiki. Please pick, put up your hand if you want to oppose the motion because you must take one at least. I'm I'm also very happy. Now, now, may I? Ma'am, may I? Ma'am, second. And you say ma'am because we can't recognize you because on my screen I can only see hands and if you verbalize it I wouldn't be able to recognize you either. Alright, Kashiki. So just Not pick up. Ma'am, sure. I must deny answer. Ma'am. Ma Everybody, please hold on. Kaushiki, please kindly call upon one name. Shonak. Shonak, are you uh, there? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so, ma'am, I disagree with the point which is given that, which states that this house regrets Indian rulers that became allies of the Mughal Empire. As when we were allied with the Mughal Empire, we had many benefits which were given to us, such mm -hmm. as Akbar systems of Din e Ilahi, which promoted equality bet between all, and they also improved trade, culture, and money barter systems in India. Koshiki, ma'am, may I just give one answer? Yes, Thank you so much. We have taken like enough time. Very tough. But can I, can I, can I give you all ninety seconds to put it on the chat? Yeah. Yeah. Can I? Can we give him ninety seconds? I just want to recognize yeah. folks. Be on mute. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, excuse me. Once again, I'm just giving you ninety seconds. Please put your thoughts on the chat. I don't want to call upon. Arjuna, again. One second. One second. Please hold on. Allow us to moderate it. Okay. Uh, All of you, please put your uh, thoughts on the chat box. Give us. Ma'am, actually, ma'am, actually, uh, it just came that the host has asked you to unmute, uh, requested you to unmute. Okay. Uh, my apologies. I'm trying to mostly mute people. Uh, but uh, kindly put your thoughts on the chat because I do want to put across one or two observations. Oh, don't directly message me. You can put it on the chat, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Kaushiki, as I'm reading through the chat, let them put the thoughts that they are getting, uh, especially on the other Mughal Empire one. Please put it on the chat, not a problem. Uh, Kaushiki, I do want you to go over the third type of motion, which is important for the students to understand. TWH stands for what? This house would. So uh, yeah. this house regrets is THR. This okay. house believes that is the T H B T. Um, this house will or this house yeah, would is T H W. I will take that later. So the third motion says this house would ban products in India which are wrongly appropriated by the West patenting of name. So I'll just give an example. How do you know that in United States of America, there is a thing called yoga? So you have like yoga sessions in United States of America, in Texas, in New York, you have Indian people trying to, and even like foreigners and Americans themselves are trying to introduce yoga in their country. That is called appropriation. You take up the culture of some other country and you then appropriate or introduce it in some other country so that is appropriation name is popular in united states of america and some of the u.s citizens also call it that hey name was introduced in texas i think that's incorrect name was a part of indian culture and it was introduced back then um, uh... so iron later just do not unmute yourself that actually like this hinders and, the and, thing and, that i'm doing and, yeah. so okay so this board, that's a good example. Thank you so much. Is there something else that you'd like to cover for the next 10 minutes from a format preparation standpoint? All of you, please take note. All three rounds will have motions. It is mandatory. We have seen students get better with every round, okay? Which is why we sort of say, don't give it up on the first debate. Don't ask us what the verdict is. Go ahead and give it your next shot. We all remember how Sudhu played her match against Maria, right? So with every debate, go and hit the next match, okay? Go and go and give it your best. The average of all the rounds will be considered for qualification for the interstate rounds or the state team preparation. And yes, you can, people often ask that, uh, can we refer to your sheets? Yeah, you can. Of course, you should make some notes. Have some aid. Yeah. Uh, you're smart enough to practice. Okay, now with that, Kaushiki, what else do we have to cover? And I'm going to ask all of you to keep... No, 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 ma'am, ma'am. Otherwise, I can just feel that, you know, a bunch of sheep over there. Please don't do that. Please put it on the chat box. The moment I 
you can take a uh, question, I will allow you to answer. Okay. Um, can you take a dictionary? Means what just mean? When you prepare for your speech, you can use whatever you want to. Uh, thank you, Nandini Ara, for putting your speeches, Myra, for your uh, speeches on Mughal Empire. But this is the chance you will get. Please be ready for the mock sessions. Okay, we'll have a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm looking at Debishi's uh, question. Put your questions on the chat. Don't directly message me so that I can uh, save it and give it to everybody else. Okay, uh, Debishi, normally what happens is we will give you some time to research. Okay, so you will have time to research. You will have time to rely on your background knowledge as well as the knowledge that you gain now. But I don't think it is so much about the facts and the knowledge. It's about how you put the structure to it. How do you use the methods to form an argument? Which is why uh, we will go over this tomorrow. Kaushiki, can you go to the previous slide once for Tanish? Um, okay. Uh, Sophia, normally we shouldn't type on caps because it seems like you're screaming at me. But I will ignore that. Uh, yes, of course, you can take content from your books as well. Uh, you can. Uh, Aryan, we'll come to how much we have on impromptu later. Again, <laughs> who's that doing, ma'am? Ma Put your question on the chat box. Mo uh, Jilmil, motion means topic. Topic of the debate. Oh, okay, motion right, right. Hum kis pe debate karne wale hai. <laughs> right? So that itself is called a motion. Thank you for questioning, for clarifying that. <laughs> Day to the qualifiers, I have not answered. Yes, it's yes. been answered. No meeting channel. All of you, please <laughs> Any other questions, please put it on the floor. Tanushree, be on mute. Okay. I'm just watching the chat right now. This house with... Uh, yes, that's correct, Reet. You are absolutely bang on correct with that definition. Okay. Uh, put your cha doubts on the chat box. Uh, Vashiki, anything else that you wanted to cover today? Uh, the last thing that I want yeah. to cover is like all three rounds will have three motions. Um, and all exactly. three different options. So you will get like yeah, wide spectrums of knowledge. Second, attending and preparing for all rounds is mandatory. If you're participating, try to do it with all faith and all enthusiasm. Why to drop one round if you aren't doing well? Thirdly, yeah. average of all rounds will be considered for qualification to interstate rounds. And yes, try to not read it from the paper. Try to have maximum confidence. Record your speeches when you're preparing and you look at the mirror when you actually say. So that encourages your, your speeches to be much more better. So, yes, that is the go-to trip and tricks. Stop sharing the screen once, Kaushiki. Uh, okay, so all of you, we are towards the end of our training. I do want to thank you for joining in. Uh, I do want to mention our email ID once for anything that you want to communicate. But we are going to anyways be meeting up tomorrow at the same time. So, set that time aside. I love the energy of the group, which means that we will give you a lot more chances to do the mocks, right? We can sense that preparation level. And no question is a bad question. Go ahead and ask the question, okay? So do not worry about it. Uh, what we will do is after this call, we are going to send the PDF across of the training we've gone through. The, the Zoom training takes a little while to load, okay? So once the moment it is loaded on the Zoom, which will typically be late end of the day or tomorrow morning, we will be circulating it on the group. So 